Hey everyone. So, uh, my stuff from Midtown's Christmas sale finally showed up, so I figured I'd show off some of my recent local shop hauls and, uh, then that big, uh, list of books I got from Midtown. Uh, first up, this came from my local cheap shop, uh, Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, Dark Lord of the Sith. This is the Ashcan variant. Uh, I paid a dollar for it. These go for five pretty easy, uh, but if you're lucky, you can get anywhere up to 15 bucks for them. Uh, pretty cool art, too. There's like six different variants of this particular book. And I got 52 Week 7. Uh, it's the first appearance, I don't remember who offhand. Uh, might be one of the Batgirls, but uh, paid a dollar for that. Found another NIX number six, another dollar book. Uh, like I said, I, I'll pick up a NYX book when I see it, regardless if it's a dollar. Pick this up for a dollar. I actually gave this story a, a shout out recently. Rat Queens number one. Uh, really good read, fun read. Um, and it's worth like 10 bucks, so nice score for a dollar. Picked up Reborn number three. I've been reading those. Um, still not entirely sure how I feel about this book. Uh, it's kind of slow, but I don't know. I'll stick with it for a couple more issues, see what I think. I did notice the paper quality on this one seems less than the first two. I don't know if that's something they're doing now across the board at Image or what, but something I noticed. Then they grabbed this for two bucks. Amazing Spider-Man uh, 471. As far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is J. Scott Campbell's first time drawing Spider-Man. Uh, this book's from 1999. But, uh, happy to grab it. It's a cool cover. And now for my stuff from Midtown. A lot of these are to work on my runs. Uh, I've already, I marked these off the list before I actually made that list because I had ordered it prior to making them. It just took forever for these Midtown books to get to me. But anyway, uh, Sh Sensational She-Hulk number 9. Number 12. That's all I got for Sensational She-Hulk. I paid like a dollar and some change for those. Then I grabbed this. Back row 37. Really cool cover. I paid like 80 cents for it with the, the Christmas discount, so I kind of couldn't really turn that down. Then a bunch of Moon Knight books. Number five. Number seven. Again, I paid like a dollar and some change for most of these. Number 18. Unfortunately, a lot of them have this uh, not-to-be-sold stamp on them, which I kind of wish they would have listed in the descriptions for these, but I hardly paid anything for them, so, you know, whatever. Number 20. Number 22. And the last one, this is the one that really kind of bugs me about the stamp because it's a cool cover, but oh well. Number 27. Yeah, I, I really wish they would list that kind of stuff on there, but you know what? It's cool anyway. That's all I got out of Midtown. And then the last thing is a lot I got off eBay for $10, and it knocks off some books off my, my list for me. First... Amazing Spider-Man 63. Uh, it's like a fine, fine plus. But, great cover. Amazing Spider-Man 69. Uh, this one's not quite as good, but uh, it's actually an upgrade to one I already have, so, you know. Why not? It's a cool cover. And then, 81. Uh, another one I didn't have. 
another one off the list. Uh, but yeah, I only paid ten dollars for those three books, which is crazy. But uh, yeah, so we got sixty-three and eighty-one off the list. But yeah, that's all I have. Uh, yeah, uh, take care.